Hi everyone, welcome to today's video where we're talking about enzyme. So, what is enzyme actually? Enzymes are protein molecules and they are made up of amino acids. So remember, enzymes are protein molecules. So, I'm now drawing an enzyme. If you take a part of the enzyme and have a closer look at it, you'll find that enzyme are ma actually made up of chains of amino acids that are folded up to form a specific 3D structures. Okay? So in the exam, if they ask you what is the function of enzyme, this is how you'll write it. Enzyme acts as a biological catalyst. It means that it functions to speed up the biological reactions in the cell but remain unchanged at the end of the reaction. Our cell is actually a very busy place and most of what it does is to move molecules around or change molecules into other kinds of molecules by either making smaller molecules bigger or bigger molecules smaller and all these reactions require something called enzyme to act as a traffic police to make things faster and they are not destroyed or changed after the reaction. The action of the enzyme can be explained by lock and key hypothesis. Let's see. Enzyme will act as the lock because each enzyme molecule has a region with a very precise shape known as active site. And this is the substrate. The substrate must have a shape complementary to the active site of enzyme so that it will fit into the active site like a key into a lock. So, substrate will act as the key. So, the lock is the enzyme and the key is the substrate. Only the correctly sized key fits into the keyhole of the lock. It means that the enzyme specifically reacts with only one or a very few similar compounds. Once the substrate is attached to the enzyme, the whole thing has become the enzyme substrate complex. And the reaction will happen and, and the bonds in the substrate molecules are broken. Once the bonds are broken, products will be formed and the products no longer fit into the active site and they will escape into the surrounding medium, leaving the active site free to receive other substrate molecules again. So as you can see here, the structure of enzyme molecules still remain unchanged and it can still bind with other substrate molecules for other reactions. And that concludes the lock and key model in enzyme action. Thank you!